The Oma families finally have something to smile about. At last, after more than a decade, four men have been found responsible for the bombing. The civil case was brought against real IRA leader Michael McEvitt, as well as Liam Campbell, Colm Murphy and Seamus Daly, after the relatives became frustrated by the lack of criminal proceedings, which required a higher burden of proof. Today, Mr Justice Morgan said on the balance of probabilities, the men were involved in the bombing and should pay the six families involved £1.6 million. But it hasn't been about the money for the relatives of those killed. I think we have sent a message to terrorists that, you know, from now on, you, you don't only need to worry about the authorities. The families, the families of those victims will come after you. It was never ever to do with money. It was to say that in a criminal court we didn't get what we want. So we went down the civil route and we fought and we fought. And on our heads and our minds, that we know that their men are guilty for the massacre that they done that day in that street. Today gives you a wee lift, you know, and uh, as long as there's life left in my body, I'll still fight for justice. 29 people, including a woman and her unborn twins, were killed when a 500-pound real IRA bomb exploded in Oma Town Centre on the 15th of August 1998. 220 other people were injured. It was the biggest loss of life in a single attack in Northern Ireland. The families have been on an 11-year-long journey up until today, but it's one they say has been worth it. Their case can now be used as a precedent by other victims of terrorist attacks. It's not a criminal conviction as such, it's a financial conviction. Um, that's what the civil law is about. Um, but it's also about finding someone liable, and in this case for a heinous crime, and something where um, the families have sought justice for years now. They've had a lot of disappointments on criminal cases. This is something they did on their own. And credit to them, they've got a result. It's the first result in ten, ten years. Getting the damages they are now owed by the men found responsible may not be all that easy. But for now, the families are happy that they've been given the justice they've been longing for. Vicky Hawthorne, Sky News, Belfast.